Counties hit hardest by tonight's storms. Hamilton County getting two inches of rain in just 90 minutes. Yeah, and it's Jenny Dreisler is live there tonight. So, Jenny, what are you seeing? Uh, well, guys, right now we're just um, on Range Line Road headed north just of Carmel Drive here in Carmel. If you take a look at the we're seeing right now. Uh, obviously, rain has stopped a lot of the standing water that I told you guys about earlier in the five and the six o'clock newscast. A lot of that is off the roads right now on some of these main roads here in Hamilton County. But nonetheless, it's been a busy day for first responders as they have dealt with numerous water rescues and they don't expect things to get any better with more rain in the forecast. Yeah, really fast because when they once they open the door, the water just come in. A terrifying situation in Carmel off Lark Drive. A car submerged in water after two young men say they went fishing in a nearby pond, realized the waters were rising, and by the time they got back to the car, it was filled with water. Yeah, it's my mom's car, and I just let them to drive for like, a week since he only been here for a week, so so they know it's going to cause this this much issues. So it's kind of a bad day. I had to tell my mom that the car is being ruined. Carmel firefighter Tim Griffin says it's been a busy day as his crews have responded to half a dozen water rescues because of today's flash flooding. And, and right now we've just had so much water uh, that it's, it's, you know, doesn't have anywhere to go. Things are already really high. We want to make sure if your kids are out normally playing in a little creek in your backyard or a culvert, make sure you warn them if it starts raining, we need to bring them in uh, because those waters can rise really fast and we would hate for something to happen. Meanwhile, in Noblesville, crews there shutting down roads like this one near 146th Street and Allisonville Road due to high waters. It's, it's very dangerous, and, and the, the speed of this road, people go through there so fast anymore that, yeah, they would definitely hydroplane and, and cause an accident. While dozens of roads in Hamilton County will remain closed overnight, first responders urge you to be careful so you don't end up like this. You know, people have to be careful. If you see high water, drive around, turn around, wait it out. Um, don't try to go through it. Now, the two men did get out of the car in time. They are okay. Hamilton County EMA, by the way, is going to be giving out sandbags throughout the night and again tomorrow at its Noblesville location. For a full list of roads impacted, just head to our website at wishtv.com. Live in Hamilton County in the mobile storm tracker, Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8.